Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. I ask you to please, please, please subscribe. I ask you to please um, share these out on Facebook. Um, I plan to do a video that will not be on YouTube that will be straight to Facebook uh, to show people how to watch these videos on YouTube. I'm seriously thinking that some don't know how to do it, so uh, when I do put that out, I would appreciate it if you'd share that along with people uh, to help them out, give them, give them a hand. Today's uh, episode is on, uh, where are they today? The the uh, Friends of Opie on the Andy Griffith Show. And we're going to start with, we're going to start with, we're going to start with Sheldon Collins, Opie's good pal Arnold. Um, years after playing uh, Opie's best friend in dozens of episodes of the Andy Griffith Show, Gollum uh, became a dentist. He even hung a signed photo with Andy Griffith in his office. Morgan Brittany was Opie's first love. Um, played She played Mary Alice Carter. Uh, well, Morgan Brittany went on to... Uh, one of many recurring roles on television, playing Catherine Wentworth in 50-plus episodes of Dallas. And more recently, uh, she had become a conservative voice for right-wing women as one of the politics, politichicks, something like that. Ronnie DePau, the spoiled kid. Um, Arnold Winkler. Uh... Let's see here. Uh, the Mount Airy News caught up with the retired 64-year-old actor who reflected on his career in time in Mayberry. After he delivered his famous fit on the set, the whole place stood up and applauded me, he recalled. Parts like that were great. He left showbiz at the age of 14 and would go on to work in music, steel, and printing. Scott McCarter, The Bully. Um, you may recognize him as Steve Quincy in One Punch O.P. Um, the Immortal episode with Nippet. This bad influence tried to convince other Mayberry boys to go steal apples. And of course, O.P. stood up to him and so forth. Um... McCarter made his final acting appearance in a low-budget 1976 horror film, Rattlers. His character Rick climbs into a hayloft where he is bitten on the face by a killer snake. He falls to the barn floor and catches fire. Kay Lenz, who is a fan of Opie's rock and roll group. I believe the Sound Committee. Um... Funny enough, she would go on to indeed know a real rock and roll musician. She married David Cassidy in 1977. And then she went on to acting acclaim in her own right, starring as the lead character in the Clint Eastwood directed Breezy and earning an Emmy nomination for her work in the miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man. She was also in the 80s horror comedy House. Flip Mark, the head of the Wildcats. Um, he was the one who made Opie the Keeper of the Flame. After leaving the acting profession, uh, Goldberg worked in a travel industry and eventually became a 911 operator. According to an interview with uh, Jewishaz.com, I've been fortunate, he reflected. I've got three very defined stages in my life. Each of them with some excitement and some very good memories. Buddy Feist, Buddy, boy, I'm having a hard morning. Seven o'clock in the morning, folks. Uh, Buddy Foster uh, played Mike Jones. Um, he is the little brother of Jody Foster, and he would go on to star in the spinoff Mayberry RFD. 
In 97, he penned a biography of his famous older sister titled Foster Child. Jodie Foster was no fan, calling the book Hazy Recollections. She added in a statement at the time, I feel sad for him mostly. Uh, I feel sad for my 69-year-old mother who has spent her life struggling to raise four children on her own. Kelly Flanagan, Claudia Campbell. Uh, she would go on to land a lead role in the sitcom The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, playing Candace Muir in all 50 episodes in 2014. Uh, Flanagan talked about the Mad Men Entertainment, about her role on the show. Uh, she told the site she had been busy as a writer and a mother, as well as gardening and raising chickens. Richard Keith, Johnny Paul Jason. Everybody remembers Johnny Paul Jason. He also played little Ricky on the I Love Lucy uh, and the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour. Uh, the Andy Griffith Show was a wonderful experience. The set was more laid back, more country. Uh, the actors were basically like they were on the show. Uh, he recently recalled, uh, he later played drums in a band called David and the Giants who were signed to Capitol Records for a time. Their tune Super Love was a minor regional hit in the South. Later, he was born again, and the group transitioned into Christian rock. That's super cool. And we got to add him, Clint Howard, who played Leon. Uh, last year, he could be spotted in both Star Trek and Star Wars. Of course, who could forget him as Balak on the original Star Trek, and to think it all began with eating sandwiches on the streets of Mayberry. That's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget the trivia question on the Facebook page. Have a great day. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, please, please, please share these on Facebook. Uh, God bless. Uh, be praying for you.